we prepared to implement ANC policy of making a better life for us. So I don't think that there's any fundamental problem on that uh, convention. I think I agree with you that the cater development policy is not an issue, but the DA is scared of the word cater, which to me is a problem. So deployment will be done in any way. All right, Nabarik. Okay, how you manage the process. Thank you very much. Nabarik, thank you for your contribution, brother. Uh, Koto in Midrand, what are your thoughts? Yes, morning, Clement. Look, I think other colours as well has already covered most of my issues. But the issue which I also want to highlight again, DA, you see the problem with DA is this a racist approach when they come to Plex or the ANC itself. Number one, the issue here, the issue is not about state and development or what. The issue there is corruption. Corruption which you are going to find within the ANC and within the DA. That's the main issue. If you can deal with the issue of corruption, then we are done with 80% of the issue. Uh, DA. So uh, the, the, the appeal which we will make now is that uh, even Chris has, has, has covered a lot of issues. Navarre has covered a lot of issues. The appeal now is the issue of, of, of a proper state and the proper service delivery whereby it's up to the service within the state or wherever in the municipality or head of each, as long as they can be able to deliver on, on, on their mind. That's, that's important. Mark these issues to, to see it, give us the, the, the document so that we should know who we are going to target when we leave here. We are going to go to this municipality and target politicians in BNC. This is all, uh, 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 after all. Okay. These other issues are not there. Thank you. All right, Koto uh, in Midland, thank you. Uh, Professor Kotze, uh, well, I mean, do Dr. Schreiber mentioned that, you know, the uh, statistics of how many people are actually not properly skilled and qualified um, for, for their positions in the public service. Uh, would you sort of attribute that to, again, that deployment? policy within the organization or because the reality is we do have Maybe a state down. that is weak that is under capacitated and for things to change you need a capable state and having a capable state uh, is going to mean professionalizing this public service um, and ensuring that you've got credible skilled and efficient people in these key positions Yes, no, I, I agree in that respect with you. That, that, that's definitely the case. And I don't think there's one can say there's a direct correlation between the 25% who are underqualified and cadre deployment. I think what we, we are, because there, there might be amongst them, might be persons who are not overtly ANC members necessarily or have been the product of the cadre deployment uh, process. But I think what, what has happened, um, and that cannot be denied, is that a certain culture has developed about where politics and political affiliation does play a role when it comes to selection or selection process. Even if